figured out. All right, moving on. Laughing during labor kind of sounds like an oxymoron, right? We often think of women in labor being offered maybe an epidural or narcotics for pain relief. But what about laughing gas? Now, on your side's Taja Davis spoke to an OBGYN about the option that's on its way to Banner University Medical Center. Laughing gas or nitrous oxide has been an option for laboring moms since the 1930s. It's more popular overseas, but hospitals and birthing centers in the U.S. are slowly integrating the option. In the U.K., in Australia, in Finland, um, there are over 50 percent of women in labor that do use nitrous oxide. Um, right now in the U.S., we're at about 1 percent. Um, and there are limited institutions that are actually using it. But Banner UMC Tucson is set to have nitrous oxide as a pain relief choice in the next six months. Here's how it works. It is something that is totally self-administered by the patient, so you have complete control over it. It's a mask that you put up over your face and you breathe in and out. It's great because it's quick on, quick off. Baby doesn't see a lot of it. There's not a lot of effects on baby, and it's totally controlled by the patient. As Dr. Reed mentioned, nitrous oxide is safe for mom and baby to inhale during labor. It kicks in quickly as fast as it wears off. Once you feel the pain and you want to put the mask on, it takes about 30 seconds for you to feel kind of some of that pain relief. In 50 seconds, you're at maximum pain relief. And then the minute you take the mask away from your face, you have 30 seconds left of kind of a little bit of pain control and then it's out of your system. Nitrous oxide doesn't cover all labor pain, but you are able to stay mobile while using it. Unlike an epidural, for example, where you won't be able to move around as much after taking it. Labor pain is really hard to control, um, but what it does is kind of take the edge off and put you in a more relaxed place to begin with. So you're able to handle that pain a little bit better each time that contraction comes. If you're expecting, check if nitrous oxide is available with your desired hospital. Then check with that hospital and your insurance to see how much using nitrous oxide during labor will cost you.